Today I'm going to teach and show you how to take your Canva book cover that you created from scratch and I'm going to show you how to upload it to BookBolt. BookBolt is one that is to me it's pretty user friendly. Um, it's pretty easy to use. I'm actually in I'll let you guys in a little secret. <laughs> I'm still learning. Like I didn't at first I was like well I'll start making videos once like I got it I'm just like yeah like I can do stuff at the top of my head I'm not running into any problems but I was like you know what I'm gonna basically share my knowledge as I'm going on this journey of learning how to create um, low content books and how to really sell them I just want to share with you guys any things all the things that I've been learning on the way the mistakes that I've been making because man I have been making some mistakes <laughs> So um, on YouTube, I haven't really, there's, there is videos with um, talking about BookBolt, but I feel like there's not enough. What I like about BookBolt is when you go to the design tab to make your cover, they have the template already there that it's pretty close and similar to the one that KDP uses as far as their margins and guidelines and stuff like that. They're very user friendly. And you can also create a cover within BookBolt. So it's super easy. You literally just upload them, you know, stretch them out to your liking, and then you download it and you go about your way. Super, super simple. This video shouldn't be long either, but sometimes I can ramble. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get started into this video. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I'm at the homepage of BookBolt. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Or if you don't have an account, go ahead and make an account and sign in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bypass that. So it now takes us to the pretty much homepage once you log in. And it's also packed with a lot of different tools and things that really help. Um, I'll definitely do a separate video talking about a lot of these things here. As you can see um, on the left-hand side, we have tutorials, products, seller, cloud, all types of things. So for the sake of time and to stay on task, we're going to go ahead and upload our Canva cover for KDP. All right, you guys. So what you're going to do is click on the little icon person on the upper right hand corner where it says uh your name or your username and it gives you a drop down it's the same things from the left hand panel but go ahead and click on book bolt designer all right so it's going to ask you to log in again to get to the design page so now it's loading and now a pop-up box is going to come up and it's going to ask you basically some basic things about the book that you want to create or the cover so as you see here you can create a cover or an interior we're creating a cover and it's going to ask you to select the size or the trim size of the cover and we did a six by nine so i'm going to go ahead and select that and then now it's going to ask you what type of paper do you want and we're just going to click on white paper and it's going to ask you for your page count so i'm just going to put in a hundred pages I believe Book Bolt, um, you, I think their limit is 240 pages, um, but I'm just going to stick to 100 pages for right now. All right, so once you put in your specifications for the book cover, it's going to take you to this next page under the design page where it should just have two blank pages side by side that basically resemble a book cover or a book template. So here you can actually create a cover from scratch here if you wanted to. I prefer Canva, but they also have that option. 
all right guys so as we look here on the left hand side you'll see multiple icons and tabs we have the image tab we have the product tab layers effects all types of things but for now we're going to stick to the image tab here for our image file so what we're going to do here is click on the tab to will basically get to our pictures so you're going to click on the image tab you can either drag or drop the image file into that space or you can just find it in your file explorer or wherever you keep your images so i'm going to go ahead and find this file all right now that you have your image file uploaded go ahead and click on it on both of them for the back cover and then the front cover and now you're going to resize it so go ahead and place them all right i just want to add a quick little tip this is one of the mistakes that i made and it could be i mean it is common sense but for some reason i did it this way um, make sure that you put your front cover image file on the right hand side and not the left hand side i did that for my first um <laughs> my first low content book and when i got it back um it yeah it was backwards so just <laughs> make sure that the front cover uh image goes on the right hand and then the other one goes on the left hand side so now what i'm gonna do is resize them so this template of course is a six by nine but you're gonna have to stretch out your image so that it covers the entire um template that book bolt has here so you see those outer margins there you do not want to put anything of importance as far as what you you know want on your cover past that margin because it will get cut off so just make sure your file is big enough or just make sure that it's able to stretch out to where it doesn't lose its quality or it doesn't lose the placement that you were going for while trying to create this cover on book bolt so as you see here i'm just simply stretching it out and also pay attention to the binding area uh, where the book folds. Um, you do not want to put anything of importance or if there's something that, you know, you want to really be seen on that part, unless it's, you know, you're putting a name or you put something there on purpose, but say if you just don't want anything there, you want it blank, just make sure you resize it properly so it doesn't get cut off on that fold. So you see here, um, those pink um, lines or the margin, I'm staying within that. So that way, you know, it doesn't show white because if you don't fill out that spot, it will have a chunk of white and nobody wants that. So <laughs> make sure you cover that entire space, but make sure when you cover it, you don't put anything that you really want seen. So once you have it sized to your liking, you're gonna go ahead and click on download. So now it's going to create a PDF file for you to review. So go ahead and click on download. And then as you can see, it'll take me to a PDF page and this will be my cover. So I'm gonna just check it out and I don't see any white. I don't see anything cut off. The only thing that I do see is I might shift over the self care journal words because it might be too close to that fold and binding area, but I don't know, or I might just leave it.
All right, now that I've shown you the correct way to do it, I'm gonna show you the incorrect way to do it. So I'm just gonna play around with the sizing just to show you guys what the PDF download will look like if you do not stretch it out to the size that it needs to be and those pink margin lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click download and wait for it to open. And let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this is a great example. So you see here on the right hand side, there's that skinny line of white. That's because I didn't go past that um, first dotted line, which I was supposed to. And you see here at the bottom on both of the front and the back uh, cover pages, there's that big chunky space of white. So that's why it's very important for you to resize and stretch out your image files because it will show up on the cover. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you one last example of how not to make this cover for Book Pulp. So I'm just gonna resize or restretch this back cover image file, and I'm going to basically kind of stretch out the front cover image file like a lot, <laughs> just so you can kind of see like how it'll look if you don't um, basically line it up the way that it should be and how off it'll look. Um, it's pretty cool because you can definitely pull it from the sides as well to make the image wider or you can pull it from the bottom or the top to make it longer or you can pull it from the corner to just basically make it longer and wider. So as you see here, I'm just going <laughs> to do it very horribly and I'm just going to try to shift over the self-care journal uh, lettering words as well as the plant image and I shifted over the back image file to kind of cover over and overlap the front and the binding part of this cover template and i'm going to click download just so you can see how terrible this will look if i just leave it all right so now it's loading and let's see how it looks oh my goodness that is terrible <laughs> so this is what you do not want to do you guys now that would definitely be one ugly cover <laughs> so that's pretty much it you guys this using this um website takes a little bit of playing around it's not super complicated to me it's very user friendly it's just trying to i guess correlate your image quality because you want to make sure that you use the highest image quality and resolution as well as you want to make sure that how you align your image your images or your elements or you know whatever writing you're going to use or the title you want to make sure that it is aligned so that way when you do resize it in book bolt it doesn't stretch out too far because again when you basically upload your image files to book bolt you're going to have to stretch it out and resize it so that it fits the template in entirety so there's been a couple times in the beginning where I was learning how to make it and I had to stretch out the image file and I didn't basically, <laughs> I didn't align things correctly. I didn't make them big enough or small enough. And so when I would stretch it out, it would shift everything. And then it just would be off like, and then I would get the proofs or whatever. And then it would be just offset or the lettering or the title would be like in the binding area and you just you definitely don't want to do that so just make sure for any tips when you are uploading this from canva or any other um i was going to say artsy fartsy website <laughs> any other i don't know artistic app that you want to use whether it's canva or procreate or bazaar just make sure the image resolution or image quality is top notch um you want to make sure that you have everything aligned um perfectly as perfectly as you can get and make sure that it is fitting for the size of the cover that you're going to get or the size of the book like in my case it's six by nine so yeah um that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you have any questions if you have any concerns if you have any tips because again i'm still learning so i am definitely welcome to any input or feedback um that any of you may have and again, if I if you guys have any questions, I will try my best to answer them with the ability or knowledge that I currently possess. 
with learning how to create these covers and how to create these low content books. So please stay tuned for my next video, which will be part three in how to upload and create manuscripts to put into KDP for your low content books. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys next time.